Hello and welcome to Let's Play Solitaire. Let's have some fun today and play a game of Solitaire. Now if you're new to this, we got a couple playlists on this channel. One uh, is called Let's Play Solitaire, games just like today. Another is Solitaire Tips. Be sure to check those out if you have not already. A lot of good tips in there. But let's get started with the actual game, right? Alright, as you know, I like to play the uh, columns first, if possible. Sometimes to deviate from that, but that's most of the time. I like to save these cards for insurance for later, because there's like 21 cards behind there. And the good news is we do have an insurance card. We've got an interesting spot here with two fives. I don't know which one. Uh, that one's a dead end, but there's a black nine. That one might go somewhere. Interesting. Okay, neither one uh, leads us to where we want, so we'll keep that as a move for later. We need to open up a column for the king. I think we can... Yeah, we'll bring this down for now. We'll see how it plays out. I like to play out of the back of the draw pile first. And then... Uh, yeah, basically, yeah. Now that's... Okay, this is going to be interesting. So there's a 9 here. There's a 10 here. This 10 might be something we want to play. And then we could play... There was a black 9, I believe. Or no, there was a red 10 there. We don't want to do that. I think it's the... Yeah... So we might want to be playing right there. I think that's what I'm looking for right there. So, let's see. I think... Yeah, either red 10 actually is probably fine in that spot. I know the one was toward the... This one's toward the... I, I mean, I prefer to play out of the very back. Well... Okay. So what we're going to do... This is going to be interesting here. We're going to move one card... Eh. I don't like doing this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can still move this 8. There'll be our new insurance card. So we're going to move that one card right there. The idea is to move the black 9 that's under here. And that means you can't move the jack. Oh, boy. This one's... That's... Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Okay. I'm playing for that 9. Not this 9, but the other one. So... Okay. So we're going to play for the 10. Red 10 right there. All right, now we move this five. There goes the nine. Come on, that's a dead end. Well, no, no, it's not a dead end. We get the six of diamonds here. We can we can do some more stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. If that angle doesn't work, we'll try something else. So eight is our insurance card. Not going to use it yet. We could potentially use all... Th oh, we don't want to do that. Oh, boy. I feel like we want to use like one of these cards here. We ain't gonna be able to use that king. Let's oh let's use the red six right now. We'll come back. And, and you know I probably said this way too many times, but you got to manage the draw pile to be able to have a chance at uh, solving these kind of puzzles. So red eight is something I've been keying on. There's a red eight there. I think we're gonna play that. We're not gonna play this red eight. Yeah, so that's going to be the plan here. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this black eight, right? Okay. But we're not going to play the next card. We're going to let this drop. Well, actually, you know what? We could have we could have both cards drop, but I want to get to the seven though. All right, let's let's play that. Uh, oh, interesting. That's a four. Can't do anything with it yet. Not yet. Working on it though. So we'll play the jack and the eight. Or we could play the jack and the eight next time around. Yeah, let's see how that goes here. Now we're looking for a black ten to correspond with it. And, oh, you know what? That's interesting. I think the black ten was right under here. So we need to figure out how to get the three of hearts, wherever that is. I don't see three hearts in there. Okay. This is an interesting puzzle here. All right. So we have a black 10 under here. We liked it to go this way, and we couldn't quite get all the pieces out. So I I don't think this angle works here. Let's let's try it, though. Let's, let's try it. Let's see what goes on. So Jack, 8... The seven, the seven is kind of a wild card-ish. I don't think that's what we want to see right there. I, I don't think that's what we want to see. Not another blackjack. We already got a blackjack. That's 
Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a problem. So we could play this red 10, but I, I think we got to go back to the drawing board here to figure out uh, maybe that angle. So we're going to go back to the drawing board. I mean, not quite all the way back, but close. So it's going to involve the two red fives we had. Okay, so here we are. We have the two red fives. You know, maybe we play this red five instead. Okay, so we need a red jack. Okay, so we need a red, red jack. That's what we're going to be keying in on uh, somewhere in here. So I, I think we'll play this 10 later on if we have to. I, I want to see... So we got the eight is insurance. There's that red jack. So we're gonna need to move two cards to get to the red jack. That's gonna be the. That's gonna be the focus here. That's another black nine we could possibly play. Yeah, let's focus on the red. Well, yeah, let's focus on the red jack first. So we gotta play two cards here. One. Two, that's going to get us the red jack that we want. And we'll see what's under this 10. Maybe something to work with. Maybe it's not. Maybe maybe it's a dead end. We can also move the 7 here, I think. Or, well, that's kind of a dead end. We need to get an ace. Ace of spades would open up some stuff for us. So nothing there. Let's go through again. Okay. There it is, the red jack. There's the 10. Here's that three of hearts. That's the one we were looking for. Okay, there's ace of spades, two of spades, three of spades. Now we can move this three of clubs over. Oh, sweet. Four of spades. And, uh, yeah, we can move this diamond up here. We've got multiple columns open. We should be able to solve this here. Four diamonds is going to go over here. That's going to allow us to put the five of spades here and open up that column. That's a beautiful card. Let's just push these as far as we can up to the foundation pile. Four of hearts. Let's do diamonds next. Let's do clubs. Again. Hearts here. Spades. Wow, we moved a lot of cards. We got another king uncovered. Okay. We're looking decent. I think we can play these cards in here too. I want to... Um, yeah, we can play all these cards here. you got to be very careful on how you manage the draw pile. I think I said that a number of times. We can play the seven. I think we can play these two kings. We're going to play the six and then, yeah. I'm managing the draw pile here, kind of. Just trying to be... Uh, just make sure we get everything going here. We have an open slot there. So, yeah, we're, we're looking good here. We're just going to be careful in how we play these cards. We're going to try to play them out of the back of the draw pile and then work our way to the front. That way, that way we don't get log jammed somewhere. So we got the diamonds kind of holding us up, but again, we were smart. We held the six of diamonds right here, seven of diamonds. You know, we're going to put these cards up to the foundation pile there as many as we can. Let's do spades next. I think we've, yeah, we've almost got this. You know what? We can just pull these kings down. That should be it right there. So sweet. We got it done. We got it done. Getting a little nervous there, getting a little nervous there, but we got it done. And uh, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully I was able to teach you a thing or two. You know, not every strategy works, but you got to try multiple ones sometimes. And again, uh, if you're looking for more like today's game, there's the Let's Play Solitaire playlist. If you're looking for more specific tips on how to get better, there's a playlist called Solitaire Tips. My favorite two are right here. Thanks again for watching, and uh, good luck.